future. In it, there was a uh, star character that used to communicate with his friends and co-workers hundreds and maybe even thousands of miles away. But he did it with a very small pocket-sized device that used to fold out. And it was a kind of phone. But it wasn't just any kind of phone. It was a communication device. They affectionately called it a communicator. Now this was again, like probably somewhere around 30, 40 years ago. 30 or 40 years before the cell phone became commonplace. And people talking in this cell phone is now common practice. Back when they first did that television show and I saw this favorite character talk on his communicator, it was again and thought that was based in the future. It was a futuristic concept. Today we take it for granted because back then it was impossible. It was thought to be impossible. But now we're able to take it for granted that it exists. So thoughts become things long before that communicator was able to become the thing that it was. And the thing that we take for granted today, it had to exist in someone's mind. And in this case, it was something that existed in the imagination of a television show writer. So thoughts become things was something that I saw very clearly expressed um, in that example. And it just makes the point that long before you can see something in reality, you may have to be bold enough, daring enough to think it and believe you can work towards achieving it. On that note, yeah, maybe I can pass this microphone off to somebody else. But somebody like to take this from me. How about you, Z? Right here, Kai, right here. So now you know what thoughts become things. And I totally agree with Kai, because I witnessed it in my own eyes, and I've heard it with my own ears. It's a journey. And you know what? Journey is like a, you gotta 